Hello, welcome to Cheap Bass Fishing, where we don't spend an arm and a leg to go fishing. In today's episode, we're buying ourselves a fishing kayak so we can reach some waters we can't reach from the bank. We're picking up a castaway from Pelican. It's a nine foot six kayak, so it's really short. We got it from Tractor Supply. It's listed for $299. So that's under $300. So that's pretty cheap compared to some of the kayaks out there that range anywhere from $500 to $2,000 or more. dollars. You don't need to be spending an arm and a leg to be able to go fishing. So we got ourselves this little kayak, and I think it's going to do the trick. Got it picked up. We got it for cheap. With our discounts at Tractor Supply, we got it for $279 out the door. Heck of a good deal. I'd say that's some cheap bass fishing. Now let's do a walkthrough. We have ourselves a Pelican Castaway 100 Angler. She's a beauty of a kayak. She comes in at 9 feet 6 inches long, 30 inches wide, only weighs about 46 pounds. She has a 275 weight capacity. She gets us in some tight spots. This is the back well. It has what's called an exopod. No need to go get a milk crate. It comes with one. That's a bonus. Two flush mount rod holders. The seat. Here we have a center console. It's got a little strap. Put your phone on. These little straps on the sides. Put your pliers. Whatever else you might need, opens up, it's got a little storage compartment. Two cup holders, it's got molded foot rests. Front little storage area with a mesh thing for covering. Holding some stuff up there, get yourself a dry bag, hold your gear. You know, every kayak comes with handles. On the side here, on both sides actually, we've got paddle strap. You can hold your paddle while you're fishing. These little eyelets. You can use those for holders for holding your rods so if they fall out, they don't fall in the water. You can put a paddle strap on there. Drain plug in back here. You know, we all have drain plugs. Nothing too special. But she's going to get us out on the lake. We can do some customizing on this thing. Those will be in some future videos. Look forward to having some good bass fishing out there. All right, we're out on the lake. Been out here for a little bit, trying it out. Tried to do a little bit of fishing. No luck. Didn't have my GoPro today, so I didn't do any filming while I was fishing. Uh, see a little overview. It's a nice little kayak. You're gonna get water, let's see. You're not gonna stay dry. You are gonna take on some water. That's just part of being on a kayak. People that complain you're not going to stay dry. Well, don't get a kayak. That's my suggestion. You want to be dry, stay on the bank or get a big boat. Kayaking is not for staying dry. It's for getting you out, doing some fishing, enjoying nature, getting wet, getting cooled off because it's hot out here, so you're going to want to get wet. You're not going to be wanting to go out kayaking in the winter, that's for sure. Let's take a look. center console you know it's not going to stay dry maybe not a best bet for your phone I guess if you had a dry bag for your phone it'd be perfect cup holder if your cups have lids on them you'll be all right but yeah you're going to take on water there's water from drips off your oars while you're re you're paddling your scuffle plugs you know that's where the water goes that's their purpose the water comes in the boat it goes back out the scuffle plugs that's what they're for. Not a bad little kayak though. Pretty sturdy, a lot of fun. Looking forward to getting some more adventures out here. We got the kayak all loaded up on the truck, strapped down. See her all here, strapped down, nice and tight on the truck. Now we're gonna head on home. It's getting getting late in the, in the day, sun's gonna be going down. See overall, I'd say it's a pretty nice kayak. It's gonna gonna need some modifications. 
those molded foot rests they're not the comfortablest definitely going to be having to take those off and put on some adjustable foot pegs that'll probably be the first mod I'd say maybe upgrading the seat that's definitely going to be a plus seats not terrible but you're not going to be able to stay out there for very long with that seat and those eyelets those are perfect for putting some rod leashes on so my rods won't fall off and a paddle leash so I don't lose my paddle and the XO pod is going to be perfect for putting gear back there and not having to worry about going and finding a milk crate because it comes with that bonus XO pod the kayak also came with the oar the paddle it's not the best paddle but it gets you out there I'd say it was a it was a good cheap bass fishing buy Till next time, have a good day and tight lines. Please subscribe, hit the like button. We'll talk to you all later. See you out there next time.